did it, Joe. What's up, guys? Welcome to The Rundown with Zynga. I'm your host, Zynga. It's the first anniversary of former Vice President Joe Biden's inauguration. I feel like I've aged 20 years, and I bet you do too, but it hasn't been a couple of decades since Joe took office. It's been exactly a year, and it's been a long freaking year. The media tried to make us believe that Joe was going to bring us back to normal. Joe was the adult in the room that was going to take back the White House and finally get this country in order. Uh, the issue is, is he's doing the exact opposite of that. And this is an opinion, it's a fact. And don't let anyone on the left do that there's nothing to see here routine because we're feeling the effects of his weak, nearly non-existent leadership and Kamala's cringy cackles. <laughs> Now's not the time, Kamala. Joe Biden stopped the border wall construction and restarted catch and release. He's using our border patrol to resettle illegal immigrants all across the United States. I guess one of the benefits of not being a US citizen is that if you break the law, there's no consequences because the president got your back. Joe also suspended cooperation between ICE and local communities, further complicating the situation. The Biden administration sided with teachers unions and encouraged school closings and promoted and defended teaching critical race theory in schools. To be clear, Joe and Kamala defended CRT as fact, as truth, not as theory. There's a difference, but I digress. Economists warned that his $1.9 trillion spending bill would make inflation go up through the roof. And it did really, really fast. His green energy policies helped make the cost of fuel rise, which caused the prices of goods and services to rise as well. Everything costs more and you ain't getting paid more. So that's an F minus for Joe on inflation. Also, have you noticed that our major cities look like either Gotham City or shanty towns from the Great Depression? When BLM and Antifa terrorized the country in 2020, Joe and Kamala supported them as well as anti-law enforcement rhetoric. After taking office, the Biden administration has made no attempt to support law enforcement. And now we have a crime wave we haven't seen the likes of since the 90s. So this country is much less safe than it was just a few years ago, and we got no leader at the helm to say enough is enough and put a stop to it. I bet you've also noticed that Joe has a knack for ignoring we, the people. Joe is giving very few people the power to shut up the population and shut down information that hurts the left's agenda. It's scary to think we've got a president who is siding with the fat cats in ivory towers in Silicon Valley rather than the everyday American. He's also made it easier for tech oligarchs to give really valuable career opportunities to cheaper foreign workers instead of allowing those jobs to be up for grabs for Americans first. Also, have you noticed that the Biden administration seems to enjoy flipping the bird to the Constitution? With their dictatorial vaccine mandates, they crippled the country. Businesses complied with the Biden tyranny, which kicked thousands of workers out of the workforce, causing a labor shortage, which fed into the supply chain crisis. And his foreign policy is a hot steaming pile of just one year later, and Joe hasn't held China accountable for anything. They cyber hack, no consequences. They steal intellectual property, no consequences. They manipulate currency, no consequences. They unleash a pandemic on the world, no consequences. And the list goes on and on. Now China is getting aggressive with us in the way they wouldn't have dared to do during the Trump era. The CCP said that the US will pay an unbearable price for backing Taiwan. Hmm. And we don't even need to get started on Afghanistan. We all remember that disaster like it was yesterday. Joe's own State Department said that approximately 300 civilians are still left behind at the mercy of the Taliban. It's almost as if the Biden administration doesn't care about you unless you're rich, liberal, or own a tech company, or are an illegal immigrant. We don't have faith in our elections. We aren't safe on the streets of major cities. Your paycheck doesn't go as far as it used to. You're fighting with the school board so they simply educate your children instead of indoctrinating them. Buses of illegal immigrants are being dropped off in your town and you're labeled as an other because of your medical decisions. So on this one year anniversary, let's recognize how much Joe Biden sucks and how he's dragging America down with him. God, is it November yet? Would you shut up?